Hey, Harding. Did you get to catch your breath? You look so tired in that last round, man. Yeah, man, I did. <laughs> I need some extra oxygen. Uh, yeah, the Clark was tough. He didn't give up. He keep uh, moving forward. He get uh, he get uh, many punches. He was tough. It was you know, good fight. I think what was really tough for Devin was your constant switching of stances. I, I lost count, like, like a thousand. Southpaw conventional, southpaw conventional. And what's amazing is that you would throw shots while switching stances. It, he never was able to time you properly. Yeah, the, yeah, that's my style. That's why people have difficult to fight me, you know? He's like, uh, yeah, difficult to, to catch the right distance. And probably that's why he couldn't go for a takedown because he didn't know when. When you guys were fighting in range, did you notice that you hurt him? There was one clean shot that you landed, and you saw him go, ah, and then you just, in the, the knees to the body were just vicious, too, that you landed on him. Yeah, I saw it, but uh, also maybe I didn't have that, that power to finish him, you know? Uh, I saw it, he, he would get hurt, hurt, but it was difficult for me to keep uh, going while I, like that, you know? And then maybe if I keep going a few more times, he would be down. But if not, then I would be down. <laughs> and you mentioned this earlier, how this is your fight, switch stances, confuse your opponent. Was, it'll always be part of the big game plan, but what was your game plan with Devin, a tall guy, rangy, just like you? You know that I fight like that a long time already. It's not like, uh, like something uh, surprising, I guess. Did you do anything special for Devin in preparation? Did you, were you able to use that tonight? Yeah, I just uh, keep uh, switching more. Uh, just uh, throwing punches from uh, all the position. So like you said, you know, I, I just keep switching and I could uh, throw the, all the punches from every position. So this is, uh, this is how I fight. This, was there anything that, besides his toughness, of course, and that he was in there the 15 minutes, did anything surprise you that Devin did anything yet? You were like, oh, okay, that was a good job. Yeah, it surprised me. He didn't go more for a takedown. <laughs> But he, he did twice, but I defended well, you know, was a good pro. Uh, I was surprised once uh, I, I get on top when he was down. So it was also that surprised me. But, yeah, he, he keep moving forward, you know. I knew that some, uh, how he going to do it. Uh, when I saw his fights, I was uh, expecting maybe more... Uh, more combination from him, but probably also he couldn't fight his uh, uh, his uh, his distance. I totally agree. I think when guys fight you now, they have to know to have a better IQ and to be smarter because the stances that you switch so much, you have to almost kind of time you to guess where you're coming from, and that's your your offense is your defense. That's amazing. You don't look too banged up. You look okay. How soon do we get you back in? Are there any names that interest you? Can you repeat the last piece? How, you don't look hurt. You don't look yeah. like there's anything bad. How soon do you want to get back in here and fight again? And against who? Any names? Yeah, I, I think I will take like a few weeks uh, break. And then I want to go back before summer. Would be great. Summer sounds good. Uh, what do you do in the meantime? Like, um, how do you celebrate? You're in Las Vegas, big win, unanimous decision. Uh, not really. I'm going back to my family, to my kids. I have two kids. And after that, uh, we are supposed to go for some uh, winter holidays. That sounds excellent. Thank you, sir, and congratulations on the win. Good job. Thank you. Just a couple to follow off that. And it, maybe it's part of, uh, you said you want to fight in the summer. It's been about seven months since you got in there last time. Are you hoping to fight more than just once or twice in the year? Or, or is it, was there a reason why there were some Yeah, sure, but I had broken feet after last one. That's it. So uh, I need a couple of a uh, few more months to get back. How long did it take before you were actually able to throw kicks? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I was, uh, to be honest, I didn't check it was broken because uh, it was always some damage on my foot. And I thought it's like normal, but after two months, I couldn't still walk. So I just went to check it and it was broken. So that's why it took so long. Yeah. And that Going into a fight after having a break like that, is there always some hesitation that, you know, that you're fully healed, or is that something in training camp you felt like the foot was completely fine coming into this one? Uh, you know, I just need some uh, extra time for myself to get hungry back, you know? Yeah. Because the uh, last time when I 
fought uh, first in February with William Knight. Uh, then I had also like long preparation because the, our fight was canceled just uh, a week and a half before the fight and then rescheduled for three months later. So I kept training for seven months. And I was already maybe tired of it and I took uh, next fight uh, four months later. So for me it was overtrained. That, that's why it didn't went so well. I need some more time to relax and then I go back. How good does it feel then, I guess, with dealing all that to finally get back in the win column and get a nice uh, solid win? How good does that feel? Yeah, great, but now I need to keep uh, my striking win, no like uh, lose and win, lose and win. I just uh, gonna do the striking win now. What do you think is gonna be the key to make sure that that happens? My mental training and uh, hard workouts. That's awesome. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Thank you.